Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to review Explorer Donald from the Mickey and Friends series. Explorer Scrooge and Explorer Donald has exact same drop rates at 36.36%. It is a little bit easier to get Explorer Donald compared to Indiana Jones. And the ability description is clears a diagonal line of zooms. There's actually a little bit more to it, which I'll get into it a little bit later. But first, let's take a look at his stats. In order for you to activate his ability, you're going to need to clear a total of 18 to 23 copies of Explorer Donald from the screen. The minimum score is 140 with a maximum score of 973. So not too good for maximum score, but pretty good for minimum score. So if you have him at the lower levels and all of your zooms are at pretty low level, then Explorer Donald is a pretty good option. But once you start leveling up Explorer Donald, uh, the maximum score of 973 isn't necessarily on the higher end. But if you want to get Explorer Donald to skill level 6, you're going to need to get a total of 32 copies of him. And this is on the lower end. So it is easier to get Explorer Donald to skill level 6 compared to Indiana Jones. And actually their ability descriptions and also just like how the ability works is very similar. Uh, every single time you level up his ability, two things will change the skill range as well as uh, the amount of zooms that's needed to activate the ability, which is identical. At skill level 1, the skill range is going to be extra small and you're going to need to clear a total of 23 copies of him off the screen to activate the ability. At skill level 6, it is extra extra large and you're only going to need to get a total of 18 copies of him to activate the ability. The skill chart here is almost identical to Indiana Jones with the exception at skill level 6. You're only going to need to get 16 copies to get him to skill level 6, whereas for Indiana Jones, you need 20. So that might be something you want to consider if you are planning on using skill tickets, but you should definitely wait until the end of this video to determine if you want to invest in Explorer Donald or not. Now before I go any further, if you guys are enjoying this type of content where I review zooms, do monthly leaks, go over the selection boxes and pickup capsule, please consider subscribing to this channel. Your subscription really helps me out a lot. I also have a Discord server, so if you're looking for a community of players who've also played this game, or if you need help with the game, consider scanning this QR code on the screen to join my Discord server. I will also have invite links in the video description down below, so check that out if you can't scan this code on the screen. The invite link should take you directly to my Discord server. So let's get back to taking a look at all 6 of the skill level for Explorer Donald, and we'll take a look at skill level 1, 2, and 3 first. The difference here between the first three skill levels is that the skill range and also the amount of zooms that's needed to activate the ability. At skill level 1, we're going to see extra small skill range. Uh, skill level 2, it's going to be small and then medium for skill level 3. And starting at skill level 1, we're going to need to clear a total of 23 copies of him to activate the ability, 22 for skill level 2, and skill level 3, 21. Now comparing it to Indiana Jones, what I've noticed is that it's a lot easier to activate uh, Explorer Donald's ability even though the amount of clears that's needed is pretty much the same. Very similar to Indiana Jones, the first slash, in this case the first boulder that rolls across the screen, is going to be consistent between all 6 of the skill level. The first roll, it's going to be somewhere around 14 plus or minus 3 to 4. Uh, you could see anywhere between 12 to 15, which is similar to Indiana Jones, is uh, both of those slashes. Uh, but the skill range is in reference to that last boulder that runs diagonally from top right to bottom left. And that's where the difference is between all six of the skill level. One of the strategy when you're using Explorer Donald is you want to make sure you're using the overcharge effect, very similar to Indiana Jones. You want to make sure that you're pressing the ability button once your Explorer Donald is more than halfway full. I recommend you to start pressing the ability button once you see Explorer Donald either 50 to 75% charge. Uh, so that way, once it does become fully charged, any additional overcharge will go into the next ability. By doing that, you'll be able to activate a lot more abilities per game. I also find that the boulder rolling across the screen does regenerate that charge up a little bit better than Indiana Jones. So you should be able to activate a lot more abilities per game uh, compared to Indiana Jones. What I'm going to show you next is the abilities activated at the same time and take a look closely at skill level 1 and 2. You'll notice that the initial roll is going to be relatively the same between the first three skill level. I did have a big zoom for skill level 2. Without that, it's going to be somewhere in the 11 range or maybe even 9. Uh, but if you take a look at it here, skill level 1, I did end up having a bubble that got in the way. 
So very similar to the strategy for Indiana Jones, you want to make sure there are no bubbles on the screen before you activate the ability. However, sometimes you can't really help that because that initial roll uh, is going to generate that bubble. And now that I think about it, that's likely why that bubble is in that position itself because that bubble was generated from the initial roll. But if you take a look at the results here, uh, at skill level 1, I got a chain of 16. Skill level 2, I got a chain of 19. And at skill level 3, I got a chain of 23. And if you take a look at all three of the ability bars here, they already have charge ups there in them. So right after the ability time, I recommend you to use the bubbles to try to get yourself back into fever time as well as trying to get back into the abilities. So if you see here, skill level 3 and 2, I was able to get right back into ability time. And right there, you just saw a back to back to back ability for skill level 3. The overcharge effect is going to be really effective for Explorer Donald, so make sure you're using the overcharge effect over anything else. Moving on to the higher skill level at skill level 4, 5, and 6. At skill level 4, the skill range is going to be large, extra large for skill level 5, and extra extra large at skill level 6. The difference in terms of how many zooms you need to clear to activate the ability, at skill level 4 you need 20, 19 for skill level 5, and skill level 6 you're going to need 18. And you could probably expect that you're going to be able to activate a lot more abilities per game at skill level 6 because you're going to be able to use the overcharge effect and have back-to-back -back abilities activated. Now one of the strategy to bursting these bubbles is you want to start from top to bottom and you could also do left and right as well but you want to try to avoid bubbles that are clustered together so that's why you want to burst them from top to bottom. Sometimes you can't help it like you see there at skill level 6 they're just going to cluster and at these higher skill levels, you're likely going to be able to generate a lot of bubbles and maybe not even on purpose, but they will get in the way. So try to burst them away as much as possible, even though if it means that they're already touching the very bottom. And unfortunately, there's really not too much you could do about it if the bubble ends up at the very bottom. The best thing to do is try to get rid of those bubbles before you activate the ability, because when there's a bubble on the screen, it does decrease the chain amount which in returns means that you're going to get less coins as well. So you definitely want to make sure the bubble doesn't get in the way too much, but you also don't want to get rid of too many of them. You want to have some handy to get yourself back into ability times or in fever time, especially if the bubble is touching another Explorer Donald. You want to utilize that and burst that bubble when they're touching Explorer Donalds. The next thing I want to show you guys is a side-by-side -side comparison of the abilities activated at the same time. I'm going to let this play through in full speed and then I'll slow it down for you. But like I mentioned earlier, the initial roll that you'll see here is going to be very consistent. Skill level 4, I got a chain of 14, and skill level 5 and 6, I got a 13. But this second roll here is the one that matters the most. If you take a look at it here, a lot of the screen is picked up here, even at skill level 4. And you'll notice that uh, the skill level 4, 5, and 6, I was able to also generate a special magic bubble. Uh, in this case, you're likely going to get an XP bubble. Uh, that's because you're going to get a chain of 14 for the most part. Uh, but if you're able to get a chain of 11, then you're likely going to get a time bubble. And as for the chain, at skill level 4, I got a chain of 26. 25, I got a chain of 28. And at skill level 6, I got a chain of 29. Now, from my experience, this increase in the skill range uh, doesn't necessarily impact too much of how many chains it clears. However, at these higher skill level, you will require a lot less zooms to activate the ability, which makes a huge difference. Especially when you factor in the overcharge effect, you're going to get a lot more coins because of that. So let me show you the results for all 6 of these gameplays. At skill level 1, I ended up with 1,146 coins with 3.9 million points. And keep in mind in terms of points, uh, these were all low level Explorer Donalds. So if you are able to get Explorer Donald to a higher level, your score is going to be a little bit higher than mine. Now, if you're wondering when you could start using the 5-4 and coin boost, that's going to be likely at skill level 5. At skill level 5, you could safely use the 5-4 and coin boost and pretty much always get a positive coin count. However, you can also use it at skill level 4, uh, but there might be some games that you play where you won't earn a lot of coins. You might even just break even. But at skill level 6, I was able to get 3,709 coins and 11.7 .7 million points. So overall, I really do like Explorer Donald. And I actually would recommend Explorer Donald over Indiana Jones because the results were pretty similar. But Explorer Donald is a lot easier to max out at skill level 6. 
you're going to need four less zooms or four less skill tickets to get Explorer Donald uh, to skill level six compared to Indiana Jones. And the coin count is very similar, but if you are looking for a high scoring zoom, Indiana Jones might be the better one. But regardless, both Explorer Donald and Indiana Jones are very beginner friendly and because the screen doesn't freeze during the ability time, it's very easy to play casually and not have to worry about setting up the screen. You just need to make sure the bubbles are burst and then you'll be able to activate the abilities with the overcharge effect. So that's my review of Explorer Donald. I hope that you guys found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you would like to see more SimSim content just like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching.